Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I want to talk about my plans for the next year in 2020 and also show you a new planner that I'm using and it's sort of set up I suppose. So firstly I decided that I want to go back to a sort of book planner next year um, but I don't want to be doing one where I have to design things myself because it just doesn't work for me and um, I'm not very good at drawing and being sort of consistent with that and also I find the time element quite difficult so I needed something different and so I've picked up the bookworm life um, I got this on Etsy I did quite a lot of research in different book planners out there um, there isn't that many um, there was two that I was interested in and ultimately this is the one that I went for I've added these tabs myself these didn't come with it but I wanted to have tabs uh, for each month and so I've put them here so um, I'll show you a little bit of the planner and talk you through um, how I'm going to use it as well as my plans um, but before I do that I just want to show you uh, my other uh, book that I'm going to be using because this planner doesn't really have space enough for me um, because I read quite a lot in the year a good couple of hundred books for um, all my reviews and so for my reviews I'm going to put them in this gorgeous little book called My Bibliophile. Um, it's really nice, it's quite small, uh, it's, it's identical all the way through the book but it's got these sort of pages where you can put the title and the author and the date published, um, it's sort of genre or category when you started and finished, um, how many stars you gave it and then um, so any notes that you want to talk about so I'm going to use this as my notebook the thing I really liked about this though is there is some lists in here but there's also these reading trees as you go through I've never really used a reading tree but it's you sort of put the book down and then it asks you questions and you can sort of write down books that you might want to lead spiraling off from that which I think will definitely help especially with sort of non-fiction because it tends to be that I read a non-fiction and then I want to read more in that sort of um, vein and then I want to go and find a fiction book with that in so I'm really going to try and use that for that so I'm looking forward to that portion um, but let's go down and I shall show you the planner in a bit more detail okay so this is the planner uh, I've got my name in it and then the first page is this lovely double spread where you can colour in as you read the books so I'm looking forward to sort of colouring in every time I read a book I haven't quite decided yet whether I'm going to sort of colour code by genre so that I can see sort of how my reading went in the year or if I'm going to write the names of the books which I think might be quite difficult because it's not that big a space um, but I might do some colour coding but I'm going to see how I get on um, that probably won't be enough space for all the books I read but we'll see um, these are blank for the moment they're dotted pages but I'm having a think about what I want to put there um, then uh, this page I didn't draw these these came in it um, I'm going to write all the readathons that I want to do in 2020 and um, I haven't done that as of yet so that is something yet to do um, then on here I've stuck this washi on because it said something else and I wanted it to be um, just laying out my plans for the year so I don't know if you can see here I've decided on monthly TBRs and this will make sense as we go through I'm going to pick a rainbow challenge book um, a monthly reading challenge book a bookworm planner challenge book um, a book lust inspired book which I'll talk about um, in a future video a subscriber five star read I've been asking you to recommend five star books to me and I've been making a note of them so each month I'll be reading one of those and finding out what I think um, any proofs that I have so that I can read them a month ahead um, a big book I've got a big books list of books on my shelves that are massive in terms of page numbers um, that I'd like to get through and not be scared of um, a book from my 100 books poster um, I've shown that in a previous video in a haul video I think but it's a poster where you scratch off um, this sort of 100 books recommended books so I'm going to try and read one of them every month um, a non-fiction book because I do want to increase my non-fiction and at least have one on there a month and then extras here I've got readathon TBR non-fiction booktube award books SFF award books um, and if I decide to do the pop sugar 2020 challenge books which I think I'm going to uh, then over here my goals so you can see and um, there's a page for your goals uh, one goal keeping up my five star reads scrapbook uh, I'd like to be single stacked on my shelves by the end of 2020 as you can see all over my shelves um, I'm starting to get double stacked on top 
um, in front of and that's no good. I want to be back to single stacked by the end of the year. Um, I'd also like to run the book Buddyathon at least once in 2020. Uh, I want to read 200 books, which is 50 more than I set myself this year, but I think I'm going to reach 200. I'd like to read more non-fiction and not just leave it to non-fiction November. And I want to make at least one review video each month. So that's an individual book that has its own video um, because I really enjoy thinking a bit more in depth about the books and taking that time. Um, and I just really enjoy those videos. So that's what I would like to do. So that's that spread then you move into January so January here now these stickers are sticker sheets there's a space at the back of here actually for um, slotting stuff in when I bought this from the same place I picked up these stickers which are monthly stickers that you stick into your monthly plan which you'll see in a minute um, and I also picked up this rainbow challenge reading the rainbow which is you know obviously picking books in the color the peanut butter taco that is the Etsy shop where I bought this I will link it down below um, she runs a challenge with stickers so I'm going to do one of them every month um, and this is also the monthly reading challenge so she does a monthly reading challenge for 2020 but also these other sort of challenge stickers so let's go back and for January I shall be trying to read um, first book recommended to you in 2020 an audio book and a yellow book and then obviously the ones that I told you before, a big book, one for my 100 books, um, a subscriber five star read and my book lust list, which I'll let you know a bit more about in future, a non-fiction and the pop sugar challenge. So each start of the month has its own theme, but they all look the same. And then I've stuck the stickers on here and written out some of the videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to use this far side as um, readathon TBR for whatever readathon I'm doing that month and then these pages you get a few of these in the month and I think I'm going to use these for just listing the books that I have read and their star ratings so that I can have a list ah no maybe not because here um, it says books acquired so I can either use this for books acquired or maybe for my wrap up I haven't decided and this is sort of a books read where you can write them into the shelves I think I'm going to have to see how that goes in the month and how many books I read in a month it may be that I use this to um, list the books that I've read and this for any five star reads or maybe I'll do it differently uh, I'm not sure so I've got sort of a bit of playing around still to do obviously um, I haven't fully decided yet uh, and then you obviously go into February, so I won't show you all the months again, but that's March, and then you've got April, May, and then June. Now at the end of June, we also have a goal check-in and a mid-year report where you can talk about the number of books you've read, the number of pages you've read, uh, most disappointed, need to pick up soon, and sort of top three reads. I really like this idea of this sort of mid mid-year check-in the rest carry on until we get to December and at the end of December we have the wrap-up and then we have an assessment of the goals a book's superlatives which I think is quite cute um, hung out to dry so DNF books books you really hated standout books uh, books on the big screen so maybe books to movie adaptations I've watched I might use this one more for um, films that I'd like to watch and then sort of color them in as I have this is favorite quotes uh, I may use this for favorite quotes or I may use it for something else I haven't decided yet um, I might not sure now there is space for reviews in here but not much space so I think what I'm going to do is I'll list my five star reads of the year in this section and um, then it, these are the back bits I'm using for lists of things that I'm planning on doing this is the pop sugar challenge that I've stuck in so I'll be trying to do that uh, and then I've still got space for plenty more things that I can do and add so it is a bit of a working progress but I'm really happy um, that I picked this planner and I'm really looking forward to using it in 2020 so seeing as we are talking about sort of my plans for those um, 
readers gave five stars and for the big books uh, challenge I have written those books um, on yellow for one and blue for the other list and so I'll be picking out of this little pot uh, one of those each month and that will be how I pick those ones because I think I'll struggle to pick them on my own um, so those will be coming out of that so in my TBR videos you'll see me drawing out the ones to read um, for those months and then uh, the others I will just be picking myself because I think it's nice to have a little bit of leeway um, but hopefully I will sort of pick them out so that you can see in a TBR but yeah that is my plans for 2020 that is my book planner that I'm planning on using um, I'm not sure if I've put up my video with my five star scrapbook yet but if you haven't seen that then I will be continuing with that as well so that'll be something else that I'll be doing and I just think this is really going to work for me I'm really excited um, I'm excited about my plans I'm excited about my reading I'm just excited so um, yeah that's it from me and I look forward to speaking to you soon bye for now booktube